When I was young, there seemed to be an air of timelessness in every day. And becoming an adult felt like a destination that was really far away. When I finally did become an adult at 18 in Australia, at first it felt like a fun game of freedom. I'm 27 now and I recall that as the years went on, it started to feel like the complete opposite. I began to look back on childhood as we all do, with nostalgia and a feeling of homesick. I became laser focused on just creating a career that I enjoy that honestly would make me look good and make me lots of money. This endless pursuit of money. And while I can't deny that I am still motivated by money, I'm no longer motivated by society's version of normality, appearing a certain way to the rest of the world by fitting in. In fact, I don't want to fit in. And I do have a job, I need to pay bills like everyone else, but I haven't been able to find a career that I truly love and enjoy. And for those who can relate, this doesn't make us failures. Here's why. The more I conform to society's structure and principles, the more I'm considered normal by society. Questioning it and voicing how intolerable it is to live in this endless monotonous cycle is often met with apathy. In this video, I'm going to instead offer reassurance. Society measures us, for the most part, by how well we have adapted and conformed to the 9 to 5 lifestyle. But this is not a worthy measure of success, and it's not the one I use. I used to heavily judge the fact that I can't afford the lifestyle that I want yet. But I realised that the stress around this is an illusion, because I'm not living that lifestyle yet, so I don't need to be able to afford it. As I continue to live my life, I will develop ways to afford the lifestyle that I create. The society we live in not only encourages, but rewards us for adjusting to it. But normality as perceived by society doesn't inherently equate to good mental health. Adapting to a mad world would induce madness disguised as normality. When I realised this, I felt free to pursue and adopt what I wanted my normal to be, instead of what others expected it to be. There's a compass in all of us that tells us when we're on the wrong path. I've found myself in scenarios where everything looks good, from the outside and I'm making good money, but I can feel that I'm not on the right path. And we all have two options in this scenario. We can find a way to dull that feeling or do something about it. A new journey is only one decision away. To quote Hank Green, we evolved for a world so unlike the one that we find ourselves in, that it is amazing any of us can function at all. If you're someone who hasn't found a thing they like doing that has economic value, you're most people. And this statement feels profound, to me at least, because ironically, we, the ones who haven't found an enjoyable career or an enjoyable way of adapting to society, are the ones that feel abnormal. There is only one job we must do well, and which we are developing and creating and making every day, no matter what we're doing. And that is, of course, that we are making ourselves. Our job, our career, it doesn't have to be the most integral chunk to our identities. It's just what pays the bills and allows us to access the things we really care about and want to work on. The wandering you do as you land on a path and walk off the path to find another is the point of it all. It's how you make yourself. Failing is when you feel your compass telling you this isn't it and you choose to dull it instead of acting on it. So act on it.